Greetings in Christ. I'm continuing with my series on St. Catherine of Siena. I'm loving this book written by a saint, a saint writing about a saint, Blessed Raymond of Capua, who was uh, St. Catherine of Siena's spiritual director. And it's just a wonderful read. You're reading the description of the life of St. Catherine of Siena by someone who understood deeply the interior life the spiritual life. And so as you read it, it's kind of like you're, you're getting a little mini course on Catholic spirituality. And one of the things that he describes is St. Catherine of Siena's mystical marriage. It's, uh, there's a whole chapter on her mystical marriage. Now remember, Catherine of Siena, she's a great mystic. She has all these visions and experiences of God and they're confirmed with signs and wonders um, but at one point early in her life, the Lord Jesus appears to her and says he's going to um, marry himself to her in faith. And then uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary appears and King David appears playing his harp at this little mystical marriage and St. Dominic and St. John the Evangelist and others. And the Lord Jesus puts a ring on her finger and espouses himself to her. And that's why in the book, the, the, the most common title for the Lord Jesus in reference to St. Catherine of Siena is Bridegroom. St. Catherine of Siena saw the Lord Jesus as her bridegroom, which is, of course, very biblical. It's 100% biblical. And she saw herself as his bride, his bride and his virgin. She was completely consecrated to her Lord Jesus Christ, her bridegroom. And again, this is, this is Catholic spirituality for, for all souls, but in particular for consecrated women. And she knew this. She knew this so clearly. She knew who she was and she knew, knew whose she was. She belonged to Jesus, her bridegroom, and she was his bride his virgin. And we know in our time right now, there's such a crisis of identity. People don't have a clue who they are and they don't have a clue who's there. And when we read about the saints, it helps us to discover our own identity, our dignity, our authority, and our destiny. And that's why it's so beautiful. Blessed Raymond of Capua, he understands the mystery of what's going on in the soul of St. Catherine of Siena, and he can communicate it, communicate it. He's teaching us Catholic spirituality, which, brothers and sisters, you need to know that you are a child of God destined for eternal union with the Lord at the heavenly banquet. That's your, that's your calling. That's why Jesus died on the cross for you. That's why the blood and water gushed forth from the side of Christ. And in this, this beautiful book, it spells it out in, in, through, the, through the life of St. Catherine of Siena. So brothers and sisters, I encourage you, don't let our fallen, confused, broken world tell you who you are. Let the Lord Jesus the Savior of the world who died for you, let him tell you who you are and whose you are. Viva Cristo Rey.